Okay, ladies and gentlemen, ladies, ladies and gents, you see this consult right here? The reason why there's no video, <laughs> it's my fault. But however, just want you to know and want you to be aware of this one fact. Many of you are going to try to critique. You're going to try to say, well, you should have talked about this and you should have talked about that and you should have talked about how the court was presuming that he was this and that he knew this and he didn't know that. Uh, apparently, you guys don't know about how to do a consult. So let me explain. His case wasn't, as he explained what his case was, it wasn't about going after every single presumption the court made because that's what they want you to do. Those are all frivolous issues. You can prove all that later. You don't need to prove that now. Those are not issues that gets anything overturned or wakes anybody up. If you go back and you listen, the judge said that the judge was going to grant summary judgment in his favor, but the only reason why she didn't is because the attorney failed to file a certain document. Well, that doesn't mean that he can't do summary judgment all over again. He doesn't have an attorney now, so he doesn't need to worry about that document because the facts haven't changed. Why? Because they filed a fraudulent document on the record. <laughs> and it's fraud. Okay, no statute of limitation. The other thing, when I talk to him again, because he and I will talk again, this young man who I spoke to, he and I have been talking over the years. He has, as a matter of fact, when he was telling me, he called me up to let me know that he was going to be requesting a consult. Even before he did the consult, he called me up because he needed some direction. So if you go and listen, a lot of the information was directed at him and all of you at the same time. Many things I know many of you have not tried, and it's not going to kill you to contact the SEC and ask about your loan. Ladies and gentlemen, when they trade your mortgage on the market, they are making a profit, are they not? Well, then how can they make a profit and not apply the difference to your loan? How do you owe them anything if they've made a profit on your transaction? <laughs> I, think, I don't think you guys are really getting what's going on here. I don't have a mortgage, so I can't prove any of this. I can't bring any of this up. Because the law is very specific. Only a party who is affected thereby may challenge. So I'm going to get him to challenge the statute. I'm even going to tell him to challenge the UCC as being unconstitutional. You see, I'm going to have him challenge the securitization process as being unconstitutional. Ladies and gentlemen, you have the constitutional challenge document. I'm suggesting all of you bring it up. OK, the challenges I just mentioned, we're going to be bringing up on the in the appeal documents. That's the process of a consult is to give someone options they didn't know they had. Did you hear him talk about the things he wasn't aware of? So now he has options. He just has to do a little bit of research. I can't do the documents for him. I can't do the documents for you guys because I have a lot of stuff going on. Sorry, so many organizations trying to be ran. And just telling, I have two staff members that speak Spanish fluently. Well, we've been getting ready to start a Spanish side of our organization where we help individuals who of, are of Hispanic background. Both of these young ladies originate from the Caribbean. They didn't say Caribbean. They said Caribbean. And so I have to pronounce it the way they pronounce it. Ladies and gentlemen, we are getting ready to put that together. Do not do not contact us asking, well, when are y'all going to do it? You got it ready? Got it ready? Got it ready? Got it ready? You guys will see that information on the site soon. I cannot promise it will be within the next two months, but I can tell you that we are giving you notice that we are working on it because we do know that we have some ex <sighs> many of our Generation Xs and our Generation Os and our Generation HI, crooked letter, crooked letter, hippie eyes that we're gonna give consideration to, okay? Ladies and gentlemen, for the last two nights, I've taken my alt rail. It is six o'clock and I am not <clears throat> yawning and ready to go to sleep. However, I am gonna have to go to sleep because I have to be bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. Got an appointment to go to tomorrow. I do also wanna let you know, there was a car that came by the house today. <clears throat> Sorry, my dogs were barking, had to cough. And they were barking and barking and barking and I got up to look to see what they were barking at and there was a car coming. And it drove down the side street next to my house. 
Ladies and gentlemen, the side street next to my house is a dirt road. It's a really, really, really dirt, dirt road. I mean, it, when it gets wet, it gets wet. There's nobody should be coming down that road. There's nothing down that road. It leads nowhere. But this car came by, and then as he drove past the property, he stopped. He got out the car and was taking pictures of the property. Can you imagine that? And I went outside to see what he was doing. By the time I got out there, he left. What, what I need you all to understand is this is the games they play. I brought a claim against the county for discrimination. Why? Because they are refusing to give an address to the property. However, I have gotten their attention because I filed a discrimination complaint against them. All of a sudden, I go on Google and I find an address for the property on Google. It wasn't there before, but it's there now. Imagine that wasn't there before, but it's there now. How is that possible? Well, you heard the gentleman in the video talk about needing a permit. Ladies and gentlemen, permit always means permission. I don't need anybody's permission to own property. I don't have to ask for permission to own property. You see, the right to property is a secured right. Nobody can be deprived of that right without due process of law. So the moment they demand a permit, they need to now show where I received due process in order for them to make such a demand, which they cannot show that I received due process. Why? Because they cannot show a reason for such a demand. Well, the reason is this. Nope, that's not a reason. That's an excuse. No, I need a reason and I need a valid reason. Or I'm going to call this one in fire and have you charge with plagiarism sitting up here coming up with excuses. I don't play the presumption game. I don't play the, well, this could and that could. Well, if it did and it didn't, then that's on me, ain't it? My property is fully insured. My property is fully insured. The value of the total value of the property is over $70,000 now. So my property is fully insured against theft, against fire, against accidents, against collisions. What's your property going to collide with? your mama's face if you don't stop messing with me. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, so, ladies and gentlemen, this is just a short little, go and listen to the consult. Listen to it all the way through. Now, it does stop abruptly because he and I had other things to talk about that concerned only him, not the rest of you. But he, as you saw, allowed me to put his consult online so you guys can hear information that would be beneficial to you that you hadn't thought about before and all you who are helping people with mortgages and stuff and there are some things in there you can use by all means use it you ain't got to give me no credit for nothing i am just trying to help just a little tugboat trying to, 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 to tug those little vessels ashore that are lost at sea you remember that well that was me i'm still here trying to tug along Okay, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, ladies, ladies and gents, eight minutes and 20 seconds. I gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta bug on my...